Here lately, we've been going through quite a few loads of tubs uh, a week. Uh, of course, again, it's part of the drought. The last real measurable rain that we got out here in Honda was probably back in September of 2021. All right, right now it's almost done with the, this first batch is already in the mixer. This scale weighs all my vitamins. This scale weighs the minerals. And this is gonna be my uh, mixer. We'll go out to a lot of these ranches and we'll take brow samples. We'll see what the wildlife is eating. We'll send that off for analysis, and then we'll get back and see what nutritionally they're getting from what they're eating off of. It all kind of, it funnels out of that mill, and then the next layer would be the stores, and then the next layer would be the dealers, and then so on and so forth out to the customers. It's just not something that comes off the shelf. And here, this is close, take it. So we have five different locations, and every single location is very different. Poth, George West, Hondo, Roosevelt and Lano. Everything is made there at Poe. I mean, everything is made in the mill. It's all right there. I've been over there twice, and William it's has taken me to the top of the mill. It and was just so crazy watching him. They lifted it up. They had the biggest crane I've ever seen. They lifted it up and over the mill, over those silos. And one guy just welded four hooks. They're about this big. The mill shut down, everybody just watched. I mean, the thing was like three stories big and they lifted it up and over and set it down. It was incredible. Try to show you anything and try to hear it half the time. Press out the bell nose and we're blowing cold air on them. You stick your hand in here, you can feel that air coming through. When I take you upstairs, I'll, you'll see the difference. So this is out of the cooler. It's hard to squeeze, it's set, it's a good pellet. But if we go upstairs, it's still hot. You can still kind of bunch them up, break them up back into what Chino is sending over from the mixer. Chapito, ¿qué pasó? It's a lot of studying and goes into these feeds. A lot of new stuff is introduced and the latest things out there. We'll get it, we'll find it, we'll know about it. Everything that we use are, are ingredients that you would only find in the best human grade. I said it's almost done, I need one more ingredient and it'll be done. This is the first step in making feed. We can put in a formula in the computer and we hit go and it knows where to pull it out, how much, and it sends it to our mixer. This is our hammer mill, capable of doing 40 tons an hour. It's got several rows of what you call a hammer. It's taking the product and it's hammering it, grinding it through these screens. When you gotta replace hammers, it's a, it's a real good time. Everybody enjoys it. It's getting pushed out and pushed out through this die and formed into a cube. This one's cubes. And the first batch already dropped and now it's dropping the second one. It's going to start mixing the second batch. Bag comes down the conveyor line, gets a tag placed, goes through the sewing head, kicked out to the robot. We actually have two robots, one here, one over there. Just got off the phone with the alfalfa man and he said the truck should be here within five hours, so. <laughs> how, how you how you been? All right. right. Good. good. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, you bet. Good to see you. Yeah, I'm Ronnie Aguirre. Uh, live here in George West. Been with Lissy and Echo a little over 20 years. The store opened up on 9/11 that day, and uh, I've been here since. George West was kind of the kind of the epicenter of of next level deer management. That's why we moved there. There is some farming in this area. Uh, more ranching. It's gotten into more of wildlife industry now. There still is quite a few cattle in the area. Everybody's working together trying to get the product, you know, for, for the customers, so. The beauty of working here at Pope Store is we make the feed three quarters of a mile away. Uh, and that is a very big advantage for uh, this particular store. We use the stores as, as, as our way of taking care of different regions of Texas. We look for feedback from our people. A uh, big thing is our customers. We call and follow up our, with our customers, see how the feed's doing for them, see how their animals are doing. Everybody's supplementing with the tubs and, uh, and with hay to, to try to keep moving on until we get some rains. Um, so hopefully we do get the rains here quick. 
bring it in and we'll yeah. try to identify it and tell you what the... My name's Bobby Ainsley. I am the manager of Hondo Lissy and Eccles store. It's a, it's a great staff. Uh, they know the community, they know the, the, uh, the area, and they know the product very well. Here in Lano, you have cattle, which is still the heartbeat of all of our stores, but you get a lot of lease hunters. It's the deer capital of Texas. We'll try to get between two and four bulk trucks every day. Each one of those tanks outside holds right at 30 tons. Hello, how are y'all? Here in a couple weeks we'll start moving into protein because everybody around here will start getting their gravity flow protein feeders going and so we'll start moving those out. We all have the same capabilities. We're all filling feeders, we're all putting up lines, we're all doing that. But uh, each store kind of has different identities, the different focus points that, that you uh, lean more towards. Yeah. I was, I was yeah. a bit shocked when I first saw it. I'm like, whoa. It's the same color. When I wear my white and black sock, you're gonna really hate it. Hi, Queenie. How are you? Green girl. <laughs> but one thing that is the same in all the communities that we have put roots in is the communities are good, good, good communities. They're, they're full of good people. Lissy and Eckle was founded in 1945 by Ed V. Lissy and A.W. Eckle Jr. I am a second generation family member and my children are third generation family members. You have to work hard if you're going to continue this legacy. We are currently in our 77th year as a family business here in Post Texas. We now have stores in George West, Hondo, Lano, and Roosevelt and the home stores here in Poth.